Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Subnautica. We have got our Neptune station platform up there and you, ooh, a rock is all the way up to the surface now. Excellent. Uh, yes, we've got our rocket is almost finished. We've nearly finished building it. We haven't got, got, we haven't got much longer. We haven't got much longer at all. So there's a few things that I wanted to do before we go. Uh, one of which is get a new, um, a, a, a new, hang on, no, not that way, a new power thing, and a new power source, a, a reactor rod, because look, our reactor has died. We need nuclear, re we need some nuclear rods, so we want to look in here, we've got a depleted reactor rod. So if I take that one, what can we do? Can we, like, replete them? Is, is there something that you can do with the depleted reactor rods? I don't actually know, we've got a reactor rod there. But I'm curious if there's anything that I can do with one once it's emptied out, or if it's literally just a thing that you throw away. Chain of pipes can be used to transport breathable air from a function, functional pump. Um, that's something we haven't actually used yet. We haven't done anything to do with the pumps. Um, I didn't make one of those. We got light stick, and I don't think there's anything. We want the um, Neptune cockpit. We need a plastilinger, enamel glass, computer chip, and a Cyclops shield generator. I am not going to strip the generator of the Cyclops that we've got because we may still want that one later on although I suppose technically we don't but I mean it's probably a power cell advanced wiring kit doesn't take a lot I can soon throw those together without too much trouble it does look like that once you've got the empty reactor rod there isn't a lot that you can do with it which seems a little bit strange right well regardless of that I do want to actually put something going here so I'm gonna go over here and we just look into this one. So I need titanium in order to make that one down there. I think I've got the lithium for it. I want to look in electronics here. I need lead, titanium, glass, uranite, crystal times three. So we can do that first. A minute. I should have um, a good glass right there. And lead. Ooh. Actually, I don't know if I've got any lead. I may actually not have any lead. This is, could be a problem. This could, uh, could be a serious problem. I've, well, I've got some titanium. I don't know how many I need. I'm going to take three anyway. And what else did I want? I, I need lead. And I don't have that. Uh, the uranite crystal times three as well. Uh, that I think I've left over on the Frith Marine. Because I don't think there was any left in Betty Nomates either. So let's just dive and the love the way. That it does actually dive. It is very, very awesome that it does actually dive. I, that, that, that's always a, always pleased me that we do do a full dive when we jump in. Let's go up here, and I'm not sure if we got lead. Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems online. Now I want some uranite crystals. One, two, three, four, five, six, like that. I'm going to take out that quartz. Which we will probably want to make some more glass. And we need some lithium for a plasteel ingot. So I'm going to take four of those. And then from here we want... Or oh, we need polyaniline. I can't remember if that was uh, benzene or hydrochloric acid. Um, one or the other. We'll take some more lithium as well. I may as well just take that last one as it's, as it's there kicking around. Right, let's scramble up here a minute. And see what other treats and stuff we've got in here so we've got some I uh, got three of those I've got two lead and I've got an enameled glass which I do need one of now the other thing that I wanted let me go into here and I'll have a look um what else was it, it was the it was it was for the for the for the rocket for the rocket what did I need to make the rest of the rocket the polyaniline uh, I was no, it's for the Cyclops shield generator. We I could probably make that actually. Let's have a look in here a minute, and we'll see what we got. So basic materials. I can make another glass because of the two quartz. So that's an easy one. And then electronics down here. I do have one lead, one titanium, one glass. Right. Well, that's easy enough. Do I have another lead or not? Uh, I do. Excellent. So we've got two of those that we can go and put in. Fantastic. And then I want to look over this way into the manufacturing thing here. Cyclops shield generator. Advanced to a polyaniline and a power cell. Right, the power cell, we've got plenty of them kicking around. What do I need for polyaniline? It's in advanced materials. Uh, benzene, hydrochloric acid. I need a piece of gold. Why have I got banging going on? 
One, I, I, it might just be a fish that's like um, bumping into me. It, it's probably fine. There's probably nothing to worry about. Uh, I need gold. I don't have any gold. Okay, well, that's, that's a bit of a pickle. Okay, we will go and get... We need gold in order to make the shield generator... Uh, well, to make the polyaniline for the shield generator. And um, we want some other bits and pieces as well. So let's just have a look through here. And... Right. Uh, I didn't mean to turn that one off like that. I wanted to... I'm not quite sure what it's doing. Right, let's just switch that one off there. Now... Uh, I don't want any of those. I want electronics. I've got those two on me. I'm going to go and run them down in just a second. So the advanced wiring kit is a wiring kit. I need two silver ore for the wiring kit. And then we want the gold. And I don't remember... Oh, I've got two pieces of gold. So there's one. I can make that. Let me just make this one. Oop, nope. I don't mean to do that. I want to go there. I don't want to go there. And I want to go to polyaniline. Right. So i got that one. The other stuff that I wanted to make this... You know, I can't remember. I don't suppose it really matters. Um... What else was it? I was. Let me go and put these bit. Oh, I don't want to go that way. Down to our reactor core, and we'll put in the two new reactor rods. So then we're going to have loads of power. We're not going to need any. We're not going to worry about any of it. There we go. Slowly powering up there. Perfect. That is absolutely wonderful. It takes a while to power down as well. It does take quite a long time to power down. We come up to here and right. So. What was I... Oh, two silver ore. Two silver ore, that's what we're after. And there is one and... Oh, no, I've got a wiring kit. I've already got a wiring kit made. If I look in... Here is it? There it is. There is a wiring kit. There's a piece of gold as well, which we might need. And then we go... Nope, I don't want to do that. I want to go back in here and I want to look there and here. So we have got... Advanced wiring kit. I need two pieces of gold and computer chip. For the computer chip, I need a piece of gold and I need copper wire and table coral sample. So I'm going to need several pieces of gold. Three pieces of gold. I've got one. Do I have any? Uh, I don't have enough. I do not have enough gold for this. That's a bit unfortunate. Copper. I've got some copper here, but not very much. A bit limited. I can, I can take those two so that I can make some copper wire. I've also got uh, a couple of those. So let's let's make what we can a second. We go to here. So the computer chip, I need the copper wire there. And then after making the copper wire, I can make the computer chip. And I've got the um, I got the wiring kit. I've got that one. I need one more piece of gold to make an advanced wiring kit. Gold is best found in not the limestone, in the other one. Sandstone. Ooh. Okay, well, if I start searching for lime... No, hang on. It was... Um, limestone has got... Oh, it's got the lead. Yes, we do... We, do we need a bit more lead? can't remember now. What did I need? I'm looking in here. I've got the Cyclops shield generator, which we will look down through. Where is that one on this list? There. Advanced wiring kit we're making, the power cell we've got. Okay, that bit's easy. And then we can come back up. I plasteel steel ingots. I need another computer chip, which means I'm going to need some more gold to make that. And that's it. I don't need any more lead. Okay. I don't need to worry about lead. Let's uh, let's drop these back in a minute. We'll drop all of those in there. Yep, everything. Just uh, get rid of all of it. The whole lot, all in there. Perfect. And I'll come back down this way. So that's expanded that one out a little bit, which means... No. I need, I need this to be bigger. I need you to I need you to be expanded out more so that I can go and look for the, the um not that I don't want the limestone. Sandstone. I need to be looking for sandstone so that I can get gold. If you look in here, not blueprints, uh, data bank and geological data. Sandstone outcrops lead, silver and gold. Oh, lead's in there. Limestone is titanium and copper. Well, I suppose I do actually need the titanium, don't I? So let's let's go and let's go and look for some titanium a minute. There we go. This is very likely to be my final episode for a little while because once we have built this last piece, we should be able to launch and then we can get off this rock. And then I'm going to take a short break. We're going to go back and we're going to finish Omen Sight. Now I realise it's not as popular a game, and um, but there are a few people that were enjoying it, and I would really like to finish that game as well. So I'm going to go and do that one. So we have a little short break from Subnautica, and then we will come back here. And there are some other things I'd like to do. 
One, I'd like to try and launch off the planet being infected. If we can get reinfected, I'd like to try and do a launch with that, see what happens to us. I would like to build our base a lot bigger and, um, what is that? Oh, that's that's that thing. Let's, let's ignore him. Um, yeah, I want to build the base bigger, a, a, a much bigger base. I think that could prove interesting. I'm not quite sure how we're going to do it and what we're going to do with it, but, um... There's also, like, hatching out all the eggs, if we can build up a, a few different um, bits and pieces with the various eggs that we've collected over time and have just, like, a, a big set of um, alien tanks. We've got all these eggs in and they're, they're busy just, like, being, you know, eggy and hatching out and stuff. This, what is that? There was a thing in here that was making... I've got a limestone deposit. Oh, is it down through here, maybe? No. Nope. Oh, yeah. You, you don't want to get poisoned. Be careful not to get poisoned. I think there's a limestone chunk, but I can't actually reach it. There's one there that I haven't been able to reach for quite a while as well. Oh, there's two over here now. Let's see if I can find this next one. Some of these limestone chunks are really difficult to actually find. Some of them I'm not entirely convinced are even findable. There we go. Um, the other thing is, if we are, like, going to be doing, like, loads of expansion, we're going to need loads of titanium. And that's not going to be the easiest thing to actually find. It, it, it's not easy to find all the titanium. There, there is, it is, it does take a little while to get to it. Um, that's a limestone. Is that one right? Oh, it is. Right. Ah, there we go. Now I've got the titanium. How much space have I got now? I've got, uh, room for... A couple bits of titanium and a couple bits of salvage. So we grab the salvage. Yeah, it could actually be a time-consuming process being able to get enough materials to build everything up. And it's whether or not people want to watch that sort of thing. Because there are other games I've got lining up that I think would be pretty cool to play. One in particular is called 303 Squadron. Now, I know this is a simulator game and I was going to sort of limit the simulator games because not everybody likes them. But this 303 Squadron is the, the one is basically it's like a flight simulator coupled with um, a mechanic simulator as well. So you've got sort of bits of both to do. And it could prove quite interesting. So I, I, I might play that one for a little while in place of this. You know, finish open site and go and play that one. I'm, I'm not really sure. So there's lots of different games that are coming up that I could play that we could do, but it, it sort of depends on what people want. And I know that there are people that want me to just stay playing this game forever. But admit it, eventually you're going to get bored with this. Eventually you are going to get bored with me playing this game. So we need to do something else. We, we do need to find another game that we can play as well. It's just, uh, how many of these have we got? I think I picked up four or five of these. Um, and also you've got to keep in mind that um, the longer we stay playing this game, the more of it I'm going to have to cut out in order to keep it interesting. And so the actual interesting gameplay becomes more and more limited. And, you know, so what, what exactly are we going to be accomplishing while we're, we're doing all this extra gameplay? Um, so I know that, that there are things that I would like to do. There are things that I'd like to accomplish while we're playing this game. But um, I'm also aware that it, it takes up, like, time in order to do things like that. And... Do we have the time to... Well, it... it th there's things that you want me to do, but quite how much you want me to do. And um, when it comes to actually, like, watching it, are you, is it going to be interesting to watch? Are you going to actually want to see me doing all these different things? Or is it going to be like, well, I like the idea of it, but then when it comes to it, well, actually, I suppose just going around gathering up loads of resources is not nearly as entertaining as I thought it might be. Um, so it, I'm sort of... I need to keep that in mind as well. Now, anyway, that bit aside, I need gold. I need lots of gold so we can make our advanced wiring kit. We've got the lithium, and if we have a look in here, we want to go back to the blueprints. Neptune, we got the plasteel ingot. I've, the enamel glass I've got as well. Uh, I need another computer chip. So we've got the copper to make the computer chip. I think we've got just about everything that we need, apart from the gold and sandstone chunks. That's the ones that we want. So let's go outside now. Uh, before I go, I'm going to have a bite to eat, and then when I've had a bite to eat, then I'm going to go and hunt for those sandstone chunks. Uh, I'll take those out of my inventory as well, so we've got plenty of space. Lots of friendly stalkers around here. They always like to come along and just sort of say hello to you and find out how you're getting on, that sort of thing. Um, 
bit of a lively bunch at times, but they're, they're all right. And I do remember back in the days when when we they they were we misunderstood them. We we, we misunderstood those poor stalkers, and um, we just assumed that they were trying to eat us. Apparently, they weren't. They were just trying to nibble our toes. Um, but yeah, well, I feel that we've grown as people since we first met the stalkers, and these days we don't need to worry about them any. Well, at least not as much as we used to worry about them. We we used to be quite concerned about those stalkers. This is good. It, I feel it's good. I feel that we have grown as people in order to be able to live like this. Now, the next thing that we're going to find is one of those great, you know, the, the wonderful exploding things in here somewhere. I'm also a little bit concerned that I'm going through a maze right now and I have no additional oxygen should I desperately find that I need it. Which could be a bit of a problem. In fact, I'm going to just change over a second so that I've got a lamp here. And go to... There we go. That's better. Right. Did I pick that up? I don't think I did. Oh, yes, I did. Right. Now, where is... Is there an exit here? I don't think there is. I, I got an nasty feeling that we're going to be stuck inside this cave. And that's not really a good thing. Um, because if you die, you do end up losing some of the stuff that you're carrying. I'm going to leave the limestone... Actually, I was, I've been looking at this limestone for ages. I haven't been able to find it. So I just sort of assumed that it was, like, buried. Oh, we've got an escape. We are able to get out. It's all okay. It's fine. There's some more gold. And another one over here. Sandstone. That's lead. Um, and we've got sandstone. Look at, all, look at all this stuff here. Actually, I don't think this is the way out. This, this doesn't seem to be the way out. And I've got 80 seconds left. Oh, hang on. Yeah. Okay, that genuinely terrified me, but that is the way out. We have gotten out. Um, sandstone. Where's, there it is. There, there's sandstone. Right, I've got uh, one, two, I've got five gold. Five gold should be enough. And we have managed to get out. So we've got quite this, an extensive cave network under there, which is quite surprising, actually. You don't sort of realize just how many caves there are. I suppose I haven't actually had the confidence to go into caves yet because I've always been worried that I'm going to like go into them and never be able to find my way out again. And I figured that probably wasn't really a good thing. So at least we have managed to go through a cave. It's another thing that we can take, tick off of our bucket list. Go, um, what is it called when you go into a cave underwater? There's a special name for it. Um, spelunking. Is that it? I want to say spelunking. I really do. I'm, I'm sure it's spelunking. If anybody knows different, please let me know. I'm sure it's spelunking, but it, it might actually be different to that. I'm going to go and get rid of the sandstone chunk thing that's now highlighted, just because it's going to be irritating if I don't. There we go. And right. So I need a... I've got a wiring kit. A, I, I need to pick the stuff up out of here, don't I? Right. I've got gold. We got loads of gold, and there is our wiring kit, and there is that one. And I needed the polyaniline as well, and the enamel glass. Um, got some copper. Take one of those. I got, I got gold. I got bit tight. Oh, uh, I got loads of silver as well. Right. Well, I think we've got everything that we need. So electronics, and I want to make an advanced wiring kit. One thing that we need. There we go. And then I need a standard wiring kit. I need to be able to make that one a copper wire, and then I need to pick up two of the table corals, which we can do now. I should want to just look in here. Am I able to do... No, I'm not. Right. That one doesn't go in there. We've got to go over to the Cyclops to do the upgrades. And I need from in here... What did I need? Something I needed. Does anybody remember what I needed? Because I can't. Uh, oh, I know what it was. I know what it was. It was the table corals. It was those two right there. The last two that we got over this side. There's more over in the Frith Marine, and there is actually one or two of them floating around outside. So we should be alright with that. There is our computer chip. Right. Uh, let's, just, let's just check. Let's just check. We want to go to here. So that one, I need the shield generator, and I need the enamel glass. So let me just pick up the enamel glass while I remember. There we go. Okay. And then I want to go back into here. And so we just need the shield generator... 
and we've got the rest. So then I want to look up. No, I want to look down here. Uh, shield gen. There's the shield generator. I need the advanced wiring kit and polyaniline and a power cell. Power cell. I think I've got over the other side. It's actually easy to make a power cell. I, I could probably do that right now. You need copper, don't I? Is it copper or copper ore? I think the power cells are all over the other. Yeah, they're, they're all over. All right, let's let's go. Let's go into the frith marine. We're gonna run out here. We're gonna dive straight in. Okay, I didn't actually dive that time. I ran. Air is our power cell, and then we can come all the way back through here to this one, and we have a shield generator. It's the next shield generator. So we've got two shield generators now. We don't need any more than that. We can have two. And then we're going to go into here. We're going to go to blueprints. And we're going to scroll up a little bit. Just like that. There we go. Neptune cockpit. That is everything that we need. So now we can come out of here. And we can go over to here. And we can climb out. And the last thing. It's the last thing that we want to do. There is my... I wonder if we could get, like, a collection of rocks and sort of build our own floating island. That would actually be very, very cool if we could do that. Right. There it is. There it is. We're going to go and build the final piece. Let me come up here. There we go. And construct. Love the music. I love it. I absolutely love it. I adore the music. I just wish it would go for a bit longer. There it is. A uh, wonderful, wonderful rocket. I'm going to go right to the edge here. We can escape. We can escape the island with this rocket. Look at it. It's fantastic. Is it finished? Neptune 1 rocket online. <laughs> oh, that was very cool. That was very, very cool. Rocket color. Neptune. Right, well, we're going to leave it called Neptune for now because it's kind of been like our, our, um, our, our saving. This is what we've wanted. Okay, so uh, how do I do this? Ah, there. We go for the full blue-green spectrum, and then that is red over there. And we can have a stripe, and then we can bring that all the way up as well, and we can go for a blue stripe. And we can do this, and we can bring that up for the spectrum, and then we can go for a yellow stripe. Yeah. Red, blue, and yellow. Done. Ha <laughs> ha! Now we're talking. Yes! Look at my shiny rocket. I don't know what you want me to call this thing. When we come back in the future, what are you going to want me to call the Neptune rocket? This is fantastic. Look at it. I really want to find out what would happen if I got reinfected again and then tried to leave. Because, look, if I scan here, normal. I need to go and find something in order to um, scan and then, like, be infected again, don't I? I think I do. See, I may not even need to do... I, it may not even be possible anymore. Some people did say that it might not be possible. So we'll pull this one down. Is there anything we want to take with us? I don't think there is anything in particular that we want to take with us. Oh, this is fantastic. This is brilliant. It's a wonderful day. That must be, That's the island right there. Look, you can see it. It's covered over by a bit of cloud. <laughs> oh, I love it. Look at this thing. It's absolutely amazing. Now what? Okay, so we've got hydraulic systems. Throw switch. Open storage. Uh, you know what? I'm not taking anything. I'm not even going to take food and water. I'm, I'm curious what will happen if we don't take any food and water with us at all. And then we can climb up the ladder. I guess I've... <laughs> oh, now it's a boot up the primary CPU. Prepare time capsule. Activate life support system. Okay, this is this this is just very very cool. Look, oh look, I, I can. There's there's a bit of an island out there. We've got that. There is sensor below. <laughs> 
Oh, this is so awesome. Look. Oh, there's the other island. There's, there's the big island over that way. Oh, wow. Okay, rocket not ready. We... I can't I, I, I can't do anything on there. So I've I've got us well let's let's have a look at the time capsule. Prepare time capsule. What is this gonna do? Right, uh empty. Oh we got an image. I don't I don't have an image. Um That's the only images that I've got. That's not much of an image. <laughs> okay, uh I'm not really sure what to say about the time capsule. I, I, I don't really know. Um, hang on. No, back to game. How do I... Oh, you can store stuff in here. So I, I could put some silver ore and a um, bit of lead. No. I'm not going to I'm not gonna do this. I mean, I'm not going to do it now. So back and... No. How do, how do I stop? Oh, I, I just pressed tab. I'm not going to worry about a time capsule at the moment. We'll we'll deal with a time capsule another time. Um, really, today we're going to get off the rock. That's that's what we're going to do. So we'll do time capsuling uh, n maybe next time. Because I, I was thinking maybe you'd want to. I suppose we could do it. We could do a quick time capsule. We could do something. I know what I do. I got an idea. I will save the game now, and then we will do a time capsule, and we will launch off the rocket at uh, off the rock. We we'll leave the planet behind. We will conclude, and then we will come back when we come back, and we can look at doing other time capsules and stuff like that. Right, we have saved it at this point. So we will go in here. We will do a very quick time caps time capsule. This is not going to be anything uh, glorious. We're just going to do that, and I'm going to go select right there, and then I'm going to say, "Here's something to help." The nice to her that's all we're gonna say we're, we're, we're gonna be cryptic we're gonna be cryptic uh there's some some lead uh you know, copper and lead are actually fairly easy let's get let's give them some gold uh wiring kit that that'll help um a bit more gold there we go uh i need to give him first aid kit as well there we go i'm nice like that something to help be nice to her right ready and now what do i do time capsule ready Right, so I've prepared the time capsule. Now what do I do? Oh, you've actually got to prepare the time capsule anyway. Okay, so then we've got a life support system. Activate. Everything going in. Not sure what to do there. Life support systems online. Right, let's go down here and we will get these other bits down here done. <laughs> Brilliant. Hydraulic systems. Go on, throw the switch. Pressurizing hydraulics. Communications array. That log. Communications systems array active. And now we're on the auxiliary power unit. You can hear everything powering up in the background. Auxiliary power unit online. Now we climb back up. And we get we got one more bit that we got to do up here, I think. There you are. Where are you? Uh, which is the last one? It's this one here. Boot up the primary CPU, and then we're leaving. Let's. I tell you what. Just before we go, let's go outside and have one last look around. There's the island over there. We got another island over that way. There's the Aurora crashed. She'll eventually rust away into nothing, and it'll be fine. And what's this? I'm not really sure what that bit is, but there is our home is just beneath the waves. You can't actually see our home, even though it's just there, just below the water. We do have that rock sort of floating around on the top now. There's the, the beacon there, and that is it. That is this whole island. Various creatures flying over there. The, 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 we, the, our whole island? This is, our, this is the, the whole place, the, the, the caldera. This has been our home for so long. I've grown to love it here. I really have, and I'm I'm going to miss it. But we need to we need to head on. We we need to go back. We just need to activate the primary CPU, which is this one over here. Primary computer systems active. Ooh. Oh, oh, that was just me trying to jump. All on systems that. are go for lift off. 
All systems are go. There is the captain's chair. Are we ready? Achievement unlocked. Leave only time capsules. Achievement unlocked. Go among the stars. Ready to launch on your command, Captain. Launch in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Time capsule jettisoned. Caution. Approaching orbital debris field. Orbital debris field clear. Performing gravity turn maneuver. Okay, I was a bit worried there for a minute. Confirm destination coordinates. Nearest interstellar phase gate. Engaging ion boosters in three, two, one. What is a wave without the ocean? A beginning without an end. They are different, but they go together. Now you go among the stars, and I fall among the sands. We are different, but we go together. Wow. Okay, that was a seriously impressive ending. And I mean I was sort of expecting other things to happen as well, but yeah, that was that was awesome. That was absolutely awesome. This is one of the single greatest games that I have ever played. That was just phenomenal. Absolutely brilliant. I thoroughly enjoyed my time playing this game. I really have. And we're going to come back. We're going to try a few different things. A few different things I'd like to have a go at. Um, see, see different things that we can maybe try to do. Um, like I say, I'm not really sure when we're going to do it. But we will have a go. And do not forget that there is going to be an expansion to this game. It's not coming out until next year. But we're definitely coming back for that as well. So if there's any other games... Kind of like this, it got this fantastic, you know, it's the storyline on this game I've really loved. If there are any other games with a fantastic storyline like this that you'd like me to have a go at, then please put them in the comments section and we will have a go with those as well. But that is all we've got time for right now. So if you've enjoyed this episode and also if you've enjoyed this series, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me, get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.